Welcome back to Life to the Max. You know, we journey not just throughout the country, but throughout the world for this show to bring you interesting little angles and things you cannot see unless you turn on that television set. We sent who else? Dan Monsky to Guatemala. I'm Dan Monsky with Life to the Max. We bring you stories from almost anywhere, like this, Antigua, Guatemala. This hotspot in Central America lures travelers in from all over the world. Its colonial charm and mild climate make it the most popular tourist destination in all of Guatemala. Widely known as a leader in coffee and chocolate production, this ancient town's character pulled me in for a closer look. From the quaint cobblestone streets, to the rich culture of the Mayan people, to the remnants of earthquakes past, and to breathtaking views beyond, I was hooked into going on a brief tour of life in this exotic setting. Edwin, where are we? We are in the water volcano in Antigua, Guatemala. And we're in the city view, Antigua city view here. Okay. So this is a significant park? Yes. Other people, they name it the Cross Hill, you know, because, uh, because of the of big the cross. cross. Right. How tall is that volcano? 10,000. 10,000 feet. feet. Yeah. Yes. The town looks so distinctive, you know, like with the terracotta roofs and the stucco walls. It's almost got like a quaint village quality to it. Yes, it used to be a part of the Spanish when they came. They have a lot of churches. They bring a lot of churches and monasteries and also convents too. Well, if that's an active volcano, I can see you having a lot of churches built with the town built right at the base. Cause it's like, oh, oh God, yes, don't erupt. And don't erupt now, yeah. yeah. So the reason they moved from here to Guatemala City because we have an earthquake in the year 1776. Oh, so the Spaniards had this as like a main base yes. and then they got tired of dealing with earthquakes so they, they, left, mo they left to a more here. stable area? Yes. Yeah, okay. they so moved there's a lot of history here. Oh yes, it is a lot of history. This uh, will be the third capital from Guatemala. I mean, for Central America, it used to be one country before. The really? And this yeah. was the capital yeah, the of capital. the whole Central territory. territory? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Well, let's go check it out. Let's go. Edwin, what's the significance of the cross? It's in honor to the brother Peter. So in honor to him, they put this cross in there. Okay. And why is it here in relation to this whole community? Because he came here uh, from Tenerife, Spain to be a priest. But he never finished to be a priest because he started helping people, and teaching to the, about the Jesus Christ. This history lesson was just whetting my appetite, but I still wanted the hard facts and immerse myself deeper. That's when I found Roberto. <laughs> Where are we right now? Uh, Parque Central, Central Park. This is the heart of the city, the heart of Antigua. I enjoy working with people from all over the world, like every day. Got people coming from uh, US, from Canada, from Mexico, from Europe, from Asia. Antigua is like a big uh, metropolis now. So that's why it's so nice to work with people and showing them the city and its uh, architecture and its uh, history. The old days, the plaza was just a big uh, nothing. No trees? No trees, no benches, not even the smaller fountains like this one's here. Right. They began to switch this into a park, 1910. We call it today Parque Central, Central Park. Guatemala is a volcanic uh, country. That's actually 38 volcanoes in the country. Agua is one of them. Nicest thing always about Agua tells us which is south. Then west, we can see two of them. One active, known as Fuego, the fire volcano. Yeah. Then we can see Acatenango, the two peak one. Oh, you can see just a little haze of a plume. Usually kind of that's some plume that's uh, steaming, that's uh, fuming. Yeah. <laughs> so occasionally we can see some lava from it. Right. That's maybe twice a, a year. Yeah. A fourth volcano, no way to see it from Antigua. Another active one known as Pacaya. So that's why four of them always close to Antigua. Right. Agua, Fuego, Acatenango, and Pacaya happening this way then. This area has been torn up, toppled, and beaten down by the wrath of Mother Nature over and over again. 
but life here endures. Into the east side of our plaza, the main church, the great cathedral, the cathedral to the city, mm -hmm. built first in the 1540s, but always due to the different earthquakes in the city. And this kept getting damaged by earthquakes yes. over and over and Every over. Every century. Antigua today, I call the city a living museum. So that's why Antigua is like a ca uh, time capsule. That's why we have so many engineers, we have so many architects, always an artist, coming to visit Antigua to tell how an old city used to look like. This is like old Roman ruins to me. That's it. Just the, way the whole thing just collapsed in different earthquakes. And that's why we see all the old pieces, like the brick, uh, brick ones, and some uh, plaster also. Uh, the big earthquake in the 18th century, just not the, uh, just the big chunks, the way we see them today, as this then. So uh, this used to be here, used to be and you can see all then. that just so all All of this just fell right into this way then. Oh, mm -hmm. And they just left it here. Yes. The streets of Antigua really are like a living, walking museum of fascinating history. One of the nicest Baroque facades in the city, this one here. It's very ornate. Set again, suffered from the last earthquake in 1976. To see Antigua, is, uh, you need almost a lifetime. Because the time, uh, the uh, moment you think you've seen it all, is something new, something old. So the nicest part of it is always a uh, new day, next day. We see now all the altar pieces built in the 1800s, mainly again, 1830s to the working church now. And the contrast of the older, ancient city with the newer, more modern city can be seen around nearly every corner. This long and diverse history is remarkable. Roberto, this is such a distinctive feature here. Tell, can you tell me about the history here? The arch is one of the nicest emblems to the city. It actually marks the bridge for the nuns to be passing from one side to the other. The nunnery of uh, Santa Catalina used to happen this way, the convent. Built back in 1694, one of the nicest uh, monuments to the city, the big arch, from this way. But this one especially, when we see this, you know you're in Antigua. Maybe one of the nicest things to share Antigua with uh, people from the world is share its history, its art, and maybe the big thing about it, its people. Many people visit Antigua and are so intrigued by its beauty and charm, they never leave. This happened to me some 25 years ago. I came to Antigua just for a day, I'm still here. When we come back, we'll wrap up this edition of Life to the Max. Stay with us. Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch. Photography for a lifetime.